right, Shalom. I want to start off by giving all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shah. Double honor to the apostles, the elders at uh, Great Millstones. And salutations to the Akim that's teaching the truth and sincerity. And Shalom to the believers and the followers of Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shah. It's your brother Barack Abal. Uh, the Spirit hit me to go on this subtopic. Um, suffering, uh, the benefits of suffering. Okay, the suffering. The benefits of tribulations, the benefits of affliction. Um, I was breaking bread with the brother Barack Allah out there in Cali, and um, he was telling me how him and um, some other brothers just did a show referring to Job. So the spirit got on me to you know to continue on to build on that topic. How um, Job, you know, through his manifold afflictions and um, sufferings, he gained a lot of wisdom during that time period. The Most High revealed to him the end of days and certain revelations, certain prophecies. He revealed a lot of things to him. But during that time period, when he was getting these things revealed on to him, he was going through much suffering at the same time. So I'm just going to get some scriptures to hit this subject. Okay. Salaki and my text, I got the new sword and the pages are stuck together. So Salaki, if I take a little bit long. This is um, Ecclesiastes chapter 1. It's a lot. It's Ecclesiastes. Ecclesiastes chapter 2. Oh, matter of fact, it's a lot. It's Ecclesiastes chapter 1, verse 18. For in much wisdom is in much grief, and he that have increaseth in knowledge, and he that increaseth knowledge increaseth in sorrow. Okay, I'm going to read it again. For in much wisdom is in much grief, and he that have increase of knowledge increase of sorrow. Because that whole time period when Job was going through what he was going through, he was increasing in knowledge and he was increasing in wisdom. But while he was getting that knowledge and that wisdom, he was increasing in much grief and increasing in much sorrows and sufferings. Because he was plagued with many things. His family died, okay? He, he suffered infirmities. His friends was rising up and against him. But during that time period, he was increasing in much of the revelations of the Most High, okay? I'll give you another example. Our elders, okay? When the whole time period when Cornelius was coming out, which is the hot topic again, okay? When Cornelius was being revealed through the Spirit, okay? They was suffering for it. They was being persecuted for it, okay? The Most High revealed to the elders, starting with Elder Gabal, that Cornelius was an Israelite. So what happened, if Cornelius was an Israelite, then the Gentiles were Israelites because they received salvation, okay? But they received much suffering and much grief for that revelation of um, Cornelius being an Israelite. So that's one of the benefits of suffering and being afflicted because you slowly but surely you grow in the knowledge and understanding of the Most High, okay? When we first came into the truth, we ain't know nothing, okay? The word in our mouth was um, sweet like honey. I think that we get that. And this is through the spirit, brothers. You know, I, I got another topic I wanted to go into, but while I was coming out here, this the spirit got on me to go into this. This is Revelation chapter 10, verse 9. It says, And I went unto the angel and said unto him, Give me the little book. And he said unto me, take it and eat it, eat it up, and it shall make thy belly bitter, okay? Because the words in this book make our belly bitter because um, the, the words of this book is life, and the ways of this world is death, because the ways of this world uphold sin, through sin and iniquity, okay? So the things of this world is death, and the things of the scriptures is life. So it's going to become bitter once you because you can't be a part of this world no more because it doesn't correlate with the scriptures. It don't correlate with the Most High. It don't correlate with the knowledge, wisdom, understanding, and the Lord's statutes commandments, okay? So in your belly, is gonna become bitter, okay? Because 
now you're going to be tested. All right? You're going to be tested because now that you know what's right, you have to do what's right. You have to apply what's right. And that's hard to do when we in a world that's filled with distractions and lust of the flesh and the lust of the eyes. Okay? So now you're going to be tested. So it says, and I took a little book out in the angel, angel's hand and ate it up. Oh, Salakia. Verse 9, and I went unto the angel and said unto him, give me the little book. And he said unto me, take it and eat it up, and, and it shall make thy belly bitter, but it shall be in thy mouth sweet as honey. And I took the little book out of the angel's hand. Okay, it's sweet as honey because you know that you're an Israelite. You know you're the chosen people of the Most High. You know that the kingdom of heaven is promised onto, onto our forefathers, which is Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Okay, you know that the kingdom of heaven, you're going to have rulership, okay, you're going to have authority, you're going to be in a position of power, your woman is going to be in order, you're going to have slaves, you're going to have people coming to you at, 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 at your beckon, okay, at your, uh, at your, uh, every given will, they be trying to do what's pleasing unto you and serve you, okay, so it's sweet. So, and I took the little book out of the angel's hand and ate it up, and it was in my mouth sweet as honey. As soon as I had eaten it, my belly was bitter, okay? Because as soon as you start to digest this word, it starts to become bitter. As soon as you get seasoned, okay, because the more you get seasoned, the more you're going to get tested, because that means the more you season, the more, the stronger your belief is, the stronger your faith is, okay? Now you're going to be tested. So that bitterness is going to start happening. And he said unto me, Thou must prophesy again before many peoples and nations and, and tongues and kings. Okay? And that's what the men of the Lord out there doing today. Okay? That's what the brothers you see on the highways and byways doing today. Prophesying against nations, kingdoms, and um right, it says many peoples, nations, tongues, and kings. That's what the elders and the brothers out there that sincerely doing his work is doing. Prophesying against the nation. Okay? They're prophesying because that's the testimony of Yahweh Shah. But the point being, um, there's many benefits to suffering, okay? All right? It might not seem like, because you got to remember, everything that this world told you is bullshit and lies. And it teaches you about pride. So what you think suffering is, according to this world, is a, um, suffering according to Yahweh Shah. All right? I, I got one more script. Like I said, it's off the spirit. This is um, Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 3, verse 2. In the sight of the unwise, they seem to die. Okay? That's why Great Millstone is the most hated group. They're the most vile, they despised group. Okay? Our elders and the brothers that's out there doing the work. In the sight of the unwise, they seem to die. Why are you giving up your life for this? Why are you leaving college? Why are you, why are you having problems with your wife? You know, they seem to die in their departure. You've given up your life. But Yahweh Shah told us, they that lose their life gain their lives. And they that gain their lives in this world lose their lives with Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shah. So it says, and their departure is taken from misery. Because our departure from this world is taken from misery. Like, what is wrong with you? Why are you giving up your life? Why are you giving up your friends? We're giving it up because we're trying to please our creator. More than do we trying to please men. All right? Because we... We serve the Most High better than men. It says, and they're going from us to be an utter destruction, but they are in peace. Okay, we are in peace. Okay, because we have the knowledge, wisdom, understanding, and according to the scriptures, that wisdom and knowledge should be the stability of our times. So this is our peace. This is our comfort. Don't Yahweh Shai said, lean upon him, and you shall find peace. Okay? It says, and they're going from us to be an utter destruction, but they are in peace. But though they be punished in the sight of men, though we be punished in the sight of men, you know, blood and crips rising up against us, all these niggas and spicks rising up against us, niggas attempting to shoot us, rob us, threaten our lives, threaten our families. It says, but though they be punished in the sight of men, yet in their hope is full of immortality. And our hope is full of immortality. We gladly take the persecution and the badge of being the most hated and the, the most vile and disgusting people on earth. We take that as a badge of honor. Because it says, for in our hope is immortality. Okay? In our hope is the kingdom of heaven. In our hope 
is our, tre our treasures that's laid up in heaven, not the treasures that's laid up in this world. Okay? It says, and having been a little chastised, because this is a little chastisement, man. This is but for a season, like the scriptures say. This shit ain't going to be forever. And having been a little chastised, they shall be greatly rewarded. This is talking about the elect. These are talking about the men that's out there sighing and crying, man. These are talking about the brothers that endured through all tribulations and all hell that rise up against them. That steadfast in Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shah. It says, they shall be greatly rewarded, the kingdom of heaven, deliverance, a peace of mind when this Jacob trouble come. Okay? You're gonna be you're gonna be um you're gonna be stabilized, you're gonna be uh, grounded, and you're gonna be of assurance of faith, okay? When them time when Jacob trouble come. For the most high proved them and found them worthy for himself. And that's what we're going through. We being proven. Okay? We're being proven. That's why we're being afflicted and tested and tempted. Okay? We're being proven by the most high. So these are a couple of uh, scriptures and um, words, okay, to show you the benefits of suffering. Like I said, our elders went through it, and the men of the Lord back there went through it. And when they went through them sufferings and persecutions, guess what? More revelations was brought out. More understanding of the scriptures was brought out. And with that, I hope you brothers was edified in the faith. And um, with that, I say all praises, Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shah, double honors to the elders of Great Millstone, and Shalom to you, Akhmi. Shalom.